new update for you guys on this. Um, commuting 50 miles each way, five days a week, and the turbo let out on this. That was probably about two months ago. Drove it for another week or so. Um, absolutely killing everyone on 93 with smoke, but it was my only option at the time. And I went out and bought that. 2016 Focus ST. Battery's flat in this. Right now I am taking all the audio equipment out of it. I'm leaving the radio, leaving the normal um, door speakers and the rear deck speakers, but the subwoofer, the two amps, all associated wiring, they're coming out. I'm selling them to my friend Nick. He drives his car, or will be driving his car a lot more often than I will be driving this and they're just sitting in here so might as well turn them back into some money help fund the whole sit going on to the front of this because i plan the, on this thing being like a nice weekend fun driver i don't need a thousand one thousand two hundred watt whatever the amplifier was rated at um subwoofer system in a car that i'm driving a couple days a week it was great when i was commuting to school it was great in high school but I won't be driving this car enough to actually take full advantage of it, and there's no way in hell it's fitting in the Focus. I'll probably blow the windows out on a car that small. So, all this stuff's coming out. I've only driven the car actually twice since I got the Focus because of the turbo. It, it smokes so bad it makes me absolutely nauseous. I haven't had a chance to replace it yet. I'm thinking of throwing my 13C on the side of it and making that downpipe work. Um, just so I can at least drive it around so the whole thing doesn't rust up. But for now, it's just been sitting. I've been starting it every now and then. I have the battery charger on it right now because I guess I haven't been starting it enough. And the only way to get into my trunk is with the remote entry. Um, the way that I wired up my system, the or my uh, remote doors, I disabled the lock on the trunk. Well, the key part of the lock on the trunk, so the only way into the trunk is by unlocking it with the fob. Prevent thieves, but now it's prevented me from getting into my trunk to remove this stuff until the battery's fully charged, so. Yeah. Show you guys the focus real quick. Come back to this. So here's the focus. Done a little bit to it. I added a 30-inch um, light bar, 28-inch light bar. I honestly can't remember how big it is uh, to the front of it. The HIDs on this thing are pretty fucking bright, but I miss all the lights that the Volvo had. Calipers came red, painted those blue because I hate the color red. Um, added the Cobb access port. Uh, kind of sort of see it there. Added the Cobb access port to it with the FRS Works tune. Uh, adds a decent amount of power. These are one of the optional upgraded wheels. This is an ST2, but it has everything of the ST3 except for the leather heated seats uh, and the heated steering wheel. So they pretty much fully optioned this out. Just nice. Have the MRT axle back exhaust, and then I tinted the tail light slightly because these things are like super bright ruby red. Also did the DIY wing riser. Uh, just to bump the wing up a little bit like that. I think it looks pretty cool, but this is my daily driver now. It's a lot of fun to drive, gets a lot better gas mileage than the Volvo, and now I can focus um, more time on taking the Volvo off the road and building it up and stuff since when I put the turbo engine in it, I kind of just threw it in, didn't do any of the seals or anything like that, so this will give me the chance if I do end up wearing down my rings too much or anything like that. I can get in and replace that stuff without losing my job. So, a little update. I wish there was more to show. Uh, I can't even start this thing right now. Had Brandon weld up the downpipe a little bit before the turbo went, so that's all welded up. But one of the studs on the bottom broke again. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this turbo. I'll probably put it up for sale. Or maybe just the cold side and the wheel since the hot side wheel is trashed and the um, studs on the downpipe flange are trashed. So I don't know if that's worth anything. It's so heavy, somebody probably wouldn't want to pay shipping on it. But here's an update. I'm going to try and do these a little bit more often. I know I said I'd do them weekly or something like that, and it's been three months since that video, so fuck me, right? But videos on the Focus coming up. I still have more videos added to the Volvo. 
hope to bring this thing to at least one clue. I hope to bring this thing to at least one club loose event um, just to try it out once I get the five speed put in it, which still way down the Yoshi Fab uh, clutch and flywheel. It's supposed to be end of April, and it is currently the end of April. So, have my transmission sitting on here on the shelf. Got my pedal, bell housing, all that stuff, um, and my spare 530 head um, that I'll be using to mock up for one of my spare 530 heads. I actually have a second one over here. Um, Steven's old BMW engine, still in here. Haven't set that to the junkyard yet. And then I have the original B230 that was in the Volvo. So this one has the ERG ports on the head. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might just use this one as like a mock-up head. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about ruining the other one. But the other one I'll eventually do port polish, three angle valve job, all that fun stuff. Swap that into the car. I'm gonna pull the um, NA manifold off this and I'll do a J pipe setup for the whole set. Uh, build a twin, even though the whole set's not twin scroll, I'll build a twin scroll setup so that way if I ever wanna to go to a twin scroll turbo in the future, which I do want to, it's more money. Um, I'll be able to do that. So, update for you guys. Black car is still here. Need to sell it. Um, guy that I bought it from lied to me about the odometer or didn't know about the odometer. He claims he didn't know, but I think he lied. Um, it says 50,000. It works. Rolls over, everything like that. But one of my buyers ran a Carfax on it. And the Carfax said that the odometer was replaced at 150,000 miles. So really this car has 200,000 miles, so fuck me, right? But still snow tires. Need to get new tires on my summer wheels since those are showing cord. But, yep, see ya.